Hi, my name is Peter Norman. I'm the Corporate Account Manager for Iconics Imaging. Iconics Imaging is the world leader in decorative sand carving equipment and products. One of the misconceptions with sand carving is that you can only sand carve glass and crystal. Another misconception is that sand carving is dirty and messy. Today, we're going to show you the diversity of sand carving, the multiple substrates that you can sand carve, and show you how clean sand carving can be. At Iconics Imaging, with the photoresist film we manufacture, we have wet process film and dry process film. Today, we're going to be demonstrating the diversity of sand carving using our wet process photoresist film. The first thing you do is you start with your artwork. With wet process film, you use a positive instead of a negative. Once you print your artwork, you expose the artwork to the photoresist film. We're using R5 self-adhesive photoresist film. Using the standard Letrolite exposure unit, exposure time only takes between 40 and 60 seconds in the Letrolite, depending on the intensity of your bulb. Now that the film's been exposed, we need to develop it with water. You can develop it in a laundry sink using a hand washout nozzle, or you can use an automated washout unit. Today we're going to be demonstrating the washout process using our Aquablast Pro automated washout unit that utilizes our SmartFlow technology. Basically you load the film on the drum, attach it to the drum with magnets, Close the unit and hit go. Photoresist films wash out best with warm water. A typical 3 mil film will take, in a washout unit like this, approximately 30 to 40 seconds to wash out. Thicker films may take up to a minute. Once the film is developed with water, you need to dry it. You can either dry it by hang drying it or you can get a dryer that will speed up the drying process. We're using today our PB500 drying unit, which will dry the film in about five to 10 minutes, depending on the thickness of the film. Once the film is dry, you take it out, you can see there's no water on the film. We're ready to place this on release paper and cut the individual stencils out to be applied to the substrate that you're gonna sandblast. Now we're ready to apply the film to the release paper so that we can cut it out into individual stencils. So basically you'll lay the film down on your release paper squeegee it down to take the air out. If you're not ready to sandblast right away and you want to store these stencils because you do a job multiple times throughout the year, you can store it on the release paper and pull it out six months down the road and as long as you've squeegeed all the air out, the stencil will be fine and the adhesive is still active. Once the stencils are cut into individual pieces, we're ready to apply them to the substrate that you're gonna sand carve. We'll be demonstrating the sand carving on a ceramic mug. It's important to clean whatever substrate that you're gonna sand carve. So use a typical glass cleaner. Foam cleaners work best. And wipe the surface of any oils, residues, dust. And once the substrate is clean, you're ready to apply the mask. So you peel the mask off of the release paper. and then apply it to the substrate of choice. Now, photoresist film, most photoresist films are pressure sensitive, so the more pressure that you apply, the better it's gonna to stick to the substrate, but because it's pressure sensitive, the photoresist films are repositionable. So once it's applied, you need to take the carrier sheet off, And any areas where you don't want any overblast, you would just use masking tape or painter's tape to resist the grit. And once that's applied, we are ready to sandblast. Now that the mask has been applied and you've taped up any areas you don't want any overblast, you're ready to sand carve. 
As I mentioned earlier, one of the misconceptions of sand carving is that it's messy and dirty. As you can see, we loaded this piece right in the front armholes. As we're sandblasting, the grit is not coming out of the machine. The reason being is we have clean flow technology in our sand carving equipment. This is our Crystal Blast Elite. Our clean flow technology allows you to sandblast with open arm ports and not worry about the dust to come out. Our Crystal Blast Elite, being the cleanest sand carver in the industry utilizing our clean flow technology, has the largest dust collector in the industry. With our clean flow 700 CFM dust collector with pneumatic reverse pulse cleaning, you're able to clean the filter while you're sandblasting. No other sand carver allows you to do that. With pneumatic reverse pulse, it's automated. You don't have to push a button on the back or shake a handle or anything like that. You just hit the button and it shoots compressed air at the filter. All of our controls are ergonomic. So not only is our sand carver clean, but it's ergonomic. Everything is eye level. You can turn the pressure up and down while you're sand blasting. You can turn it on and off. We even have an LED light for inspecting crystal through the back so you can make sure that you've sand carved as deep as you want to. Our pressure pots are attached and one thing we do with all of our pressure pots is we have a clean out port in the pressure pot to allow fast cleaning of abrasive, removing abrasive from the pot, or if you're sandblasting something like a wine bottle and it breaks in the cabinet, you don't have to worry about the sludgy grit in there not being able to come out of the bottom of the pot, you can just scoop it out through the port. We're the only ones that have a clean out port. So, sand carving, clean, efficient, ergonomic, and you can see we're done sandblasting in less than a minute. So here is the finished piece of the ceramic mug that we sand carved. As you can see, we added a little artisticness to it by stage carving, peeling pieces off, and then giving a multiple depth look and multiple color. That's just one of the options that you can do with sand carving is the multiple stage carving and then also the diversity of products. Here's the same image on a piece of stainless steel, same image on a piece of glass, and then here's a variety of pieces. You can do rocks, brick, granite and marble, anodized aluminum, and then of course wine bottles. For more information on sand carving, please come visit us at the NBM Philadelphia trade show or visit our website at iconicsimaging.com. Thank you.